previously, right? Yes, it's going to create code out of, I mean, tangrams out of thin air, basically, right? And we can set through the, 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 the code as it's, as it's happening, um, right? But this is not going to, you can do this and you can do uh, you can play around uh, with your own code if you if you if you're into coding and it will know something about coding or you want to mess around or whatever um you can create tangram out of thin air you can load your wallet with as many tangrams as you want um and you can go and create your own genesis block and do whatever you want right um when it comes to test nets or, or production uh, you would want to try and cheat and see if you can get your money's worth out of it. You can send it to the blockchain. It's however it's going to fail uh, because that um, commitment needed to be there previously for you to actually spend anything. So if it's not part of the the main uh, blockchain that's busy running on the on, on the, the network, which is the honest chain, um, then it's going to fail completely, right? uh life is good yes here we go and i'm gonna run this quickly i just need to copy this and add it right to the top because when i issue the spend command it's just gonna run that piece of code for me okay so i put receive transaction at the top there and i can put a breaking point like we'll just put it at the top here right and i'm gonna go in uh uh debug mode so we can actually see what the fuck's going on there uh right so i'm just going to hit spend um the reason why i'm using spend is because this triggers the the module to actually kick the code off, right so i can put anything i want in there so <clears throat> now we're going to step through the code it's going to go and say well i want 45 million tangram this is the address i'm going to pay it at and uh, as you can see that that value over there is 45 million and this is my id this is my passphrase and he's going to go and create that for me and if i look into uh, the session over here i will see that if it gives me the fucking window um he has a transaction loaded already for me that i can go and Passed to the ring member, uh, ring membership. I had to do one more thing, uh, otherwise it's going to fail. Um, right. So this is basically how you're going to go about creating tangrams out of thin air. And uh, I just need to go and uh, make sure that uh, one element is obviously running, um, otherwise it's going to fail. Right. So I just need to put that one piece of code in. So I'm just going to stop that quickly and I'm going to go to my little code snippets over here and I'm going to make sure that I've got the right piece of code. Um, there it is over there. So this piece of code over here basically tells um, the ring member, uh, ring membership, where to put your, your spend uh, for, your, for, your, for, your, for your money that you want to spend. And at the moment, this is going to try and download transactions from the database and I don't have my node up and running at the moment and it's going to fall over and moan to me. So what I do is I just uh, go and comment this out and I go say goodbye, uh, I'll come back later and I'm going to give you a new piece of code that you're going to run and it's just a lot simpler. Um, it hasn't got any of this uh, other stuff, this rolling member in it. It also doesn't go and download any safeguard transactions, so mm -hmm. it's not going to give you any headaches. And then, obviously, one of the other things that I need to do is that because we don't have any members, uh, mixed members in there, um, I'm uh, uh, going to just change the, the indexing. So instead of having a ring size of 22, I'm only going to ring size of one, right? So because I just want to go and create. Um, one member and that's me and that's the genesis block so and i'm just going to set this to zero because it's zero based because it's only me and that's all we care about so that's basically two little lines of code there and putting the snippet code that's going to uh, um, give us free tangram um so i'm going to run this uh so basically i've changed the rows it stays the same the columns for the ring size goes to one 
and the index goes to zero, right? Um, and then the only other method that I've changed is the spend for where your uh, commitment will be put into the ring member when it has more than one uh, ring member. At the moment, it's only got one. It will have 22, but this thing basically says where I'm putting my secret spend so that when it goes to the blockchain, no one knows where it is because it's got a bunch of decoys. Um, and that's basically what this piece of code does that I've just commented out, except that it does a little bit more logic than the one that I've put in here. Um, not that much, but uh, it's similar. It has less lines of code in it. Um, is, well, I could probably post this up and we could uh, uh, have a way of uh, creating a, a, a test database with uh, Genesis block and how to, how to actually go about actually doing whatever you need to do for, for developers who want to, or people want to go and create their own blockchains eventually. So <clears throat> now that I've got my code up running, I'm going to switch back to my uh, creating my 10 grams out of thin air, and I'm just going to run my, my piece of the code again. Uh, I'll come back there now. So I'm just going to issue the spend command and we're going to go back into the 45 million. We've already seen that. Uh, it's going to go and do my payments. So what I've done here is my balance has been set to 45 million. My change has been set to 45 million, right? My fee, however, is zero and my payment is zero. Right, and I'll tell you why this is the way it is, right? When we get there. So when I go and create this transaction, it's gonna pop into this little piece of code over here, and we're gonna go like right here to the bottom where this actually matters. Sorry, my, my mistake. We're not calculating change because we don't have any change. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to comment it out for now. And as you can see, the wallet's probably thrown an error because I try to run a piece of code that, that, that there's no change. So it, it's going to throw an error because there's nothing in the wallet. So I'm trying to create money out of thin air. Um, so I'm just going to issue the spend command again, and then we're just going to pop through the, the same same piece of code. Uh, so I'm just going to step through it faster. Um, okay, so basically at this point it threw the error because it tried to do the change. Everything still stays the same. Um, okay, here we go. Still throwing an error. Okay, I think. Oh, right. Uh, okay, let me just run that again. Sorry, my mistake. All right, sorry, guys, I forgot to um, restart the. Let me do that from the beginning. I'm busy on autopilot mode. I just want to get, I want, I want free 10 gram. That's why, you know, fuck everything. I'm just making money. I'm going to print money. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So we do this again and hopefully it goes through the third time. Um, we're not downloading anything and everything's great. So we create a session, no errors. Yes, we're good. We're good. We're all good. Right, so we're going to drop down into fee over here. My fee is, like I said, is zero. My payment is zero. And my change is 45 million. Okay, so this is obviously times by uh, nano 10, which is a uh, um, uh, um so that I can convert it into a, a, a UN64. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously the rest of the code is just going to go and uh, create the ring membership. Yeah, so basically at the moment, what I've done is the default here would always be 22, right? So that would be 22 members 
that comprises of uh, 11 um, commitments and 11 uh, public, key, uh, uh, public keys. Um, the reason being is because uh, 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 this prevents Alice from taking Bob's money away from him and he can obviously just spend it as he wants. However, Alice needs to uh, generate him a public key and she needs to put that into the ring membership so that when Bob comes and collects his payment, he can then uh, generate his secret key from that public key using his uh, 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 spend key, which only he can do. So Alice can't do that. And that's the reason I have 11 uh, public keys, which are normal keys. They're the same size as commitments, and I have a mix of commitments, i.e. the uh, amount of uh, money that uh, is being passed around with the blind. So fixed to 22, yes, we're going to fix to 22. Okay, so what have I done here? I'm going to go and create my ring member membership, uh, my, my ring, uh, ring CT or confidential tr transaction. And I'm going to go here and go, right, I've done everything. I've done my homework. Everything's great. And I'm going to verify it. And we're good to go, right? So I've now gone and created money out of thin air. And I'm going to go, all right, I'm going to set the wallets. And I'm going to create the wallets. And I'm going to save the wallets. And we're good to go, right? We're rich. Okay, we got we got money. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to get out of this uh, sequence over here because I don't actually want to spend anything. I just want to go and check to see what balance I've gone and created. Okay, so I'm just going to go out here. I'm going to exit. And I'm going to go back to my piece of code there at the top. And I'm just going to remove him because we finished with that now. Right. So I'm going to start this up again. I'm going to go and get my uh, username and password for my master wallet. All right. And we're just going to book in here. And I want to go history, right? Because I want to see what transactions have I created for myself. I'm, 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 I'm going to be rich. I'm, I'm just creating money with an air. I don't give a fuck about anybody, right? So there we go. My transactions in. <clears throat> I've got money and I can spend, right? <laughs> okay. So that's the first step of uh, creating the Genesis uh, block. Um, I obviously need to have money available to set off the transactions that will be included into the block, okay? And I also need to have some money to stake at the same time, right? Otherwise, none of this is going to happen. So I'm going to create money, and then I'm going to create a bunch of transactions. Um, and out of those transactions, they're going to be uh, paid to myself or to the wallet, the other wallet that I've created. And um, I'm going to just pay and create transactions so that I can uh, create the, the, the Genesis block. So, so that's step number one. Right? So I've created some, some free Tangram. And uh, <clears throat> Now for the second step, I'm going to go and create the actual transactions within this wallet that I've gone and created. So I'm going to take this piece of code. Uh, was that the piece of code? No, I want to roll transactions, sorry. So I'm going to take this piece of code because now I'm going to roll my own transactions right, with the, the money that I've gone and created out thin air. Um, so I'm going to put this here, see if anything complains. Yes, you're complaining because you need to be a decimal, right? And that's not create payments anymore. It's the other one. Right. Uh, we're just going to change the dates here because that's not the date. So what was the date? 0506. This is 0506. Uh, and we're going to go to 18 plus, and uh, we're going to 1920, right? Oh, there's too many. 
we're going to go to 20, uh, make it 21, because we need 22 transactions uh, within the uh, Genesis block so that we're going to kick off the ring membership to 22 mm -hmm. when I reset this whole thing up. And then uh, we, we uh, go back to the settings of 22 uh, ring members and I'll reset the code and then I'll just carry on. Okay, so for now I'm going to create transactions for the, the block. Um, so I've done the first step, which was uh, create money out of thin air and I now need to get some transactions out of that and I need to also have money for staking, right? So my address I'm going to use, I'm just going to pay myself again because uh, I'm greedy and I want everything coming back to me. But uh, I don't need to have such large amounts. I can just make them D e or whatever. There's just got to be something, right? Uh, and then basically I take this piece of snippet code over here and I go back to the top and I just stick it there in the main constructor. So in the main constructor where this uh, class is going to initiate, get instantiated and we're good to go. I'm good to go. And I'm just going to put a breakpoint at the bottom uh, just to make sure that everything's uh, the way it should be. I'm just going to take these guys off here because we've done with the first one. So mm -hmm. we're calling this uh, step one, right? That's step one. We want to receive money. Step two, we want to roll some transactions. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, so that's good. That's going to give us 22 transactions. Mm, is it? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, okay. So uh, let me just whack it here and then everything's good. Okay. So now I've got my money. I've got, uh, I've printed my own little uh, 45 million Tangram. I'm a millionaire now. Now I need to go and create some uh, some, some uh, transactions for myself because I want to go and create myself a Genesis block. But I've rolled my own blockchain. Um, right. So I'm just going to hit the spend command again and we're going to. Bounce hook into this uh, roll transactions over here. Uh, the wallet transaction that he's going to go and create is basically if I can just go hold the fucking window. Good God. Right. And um, he's going to go like, okay, well, oh, come on. Oh, fuck off. Sorry, guys. Let me just get it here, Robert. So. He's going to give me a fee. That's just the standard fee that you're going to have to pay every time you make a transaction on the Tango network. You will either get it back. Uh, this is my payment, which is the 50 Tangrams I want to spend. Obviously, I convert that into U, uh, uh, UN64, uh, which is a million. This is my address. I'm paying out to. That's me. I'm greedy. I want it to come to me. And uh, so we're good to go. Everything's great. And I'm just going to step through this piece of code. I think we've put a breakpoint somewhere, so you will go to the top here. I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to stop here by you anymore. Um, error. Right, okay, so we now did one little error. I need to obviously put this back because now we've got money. So I've got to step that, stop that and just put that back. So forgot that and now we've got money so I can now let this fall through because it's going to calculate my my change for me so let me just run that again one more time um so many things you got to think about right um, eventually this will get automated and if you want to go and create your own blockchain you can do it easily we'll make it fairly easy fairly accessible to everybody but these are the steps uh, I'm going to run my spend command again <clears throat> right, so I'm just going to drop into this and now we're going to go and uh, go and calculate the change and he's not going to throw an error for me because I've got money, right? 
uh, my success is true, so we're all good to go. Um, my balance is obviously whatever this is, right? So that's my change. There's my change. I'm spending my money. I'm spending some money. I need to create some transactions because I want to go and create uh, a block, uh, a blockchain with a Genesis block in it, right? So we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. We're just going to break over here very far. We just want to see if it all goes through. Then I'll just run it through quickly. My success on that is true, so we're all good there. Then we go back to the bottom and we can just stop it over here and we can just run it, right? So we can see there's a count here. I don't know if you can see that, but this is at zero at the moment. Um, and I'm just going to run it through so you'll see that count go. It will start counting. So now it's, we've got one transaction in there. And I'm just going to run it through. We got. Oh, did I just break it? <laughs> yes, I did. Wow, that's a lot of red there, right? Mm. Better, 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 better. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see where we are with uh, our transaction count. So maybe I should just uh, stop, stop it over there quickly. Um, everything has to have its own little problem today. If it's not my fucking internet, then it's the code. I did. Now copy and paste. Uh, if that was the case, it would have thrown an error, right? Okay, we don't want to do that, but anyway, um, that's fine. We can see what is happening here. Okay, so that went through. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, but then it should have, uh, uh, this, this obviously wouldn't have worked. So there's the opening and close brackets. There's, it's all good, right? There's no problem. So that's going. Let me see if the next one will go. It's obviously having a fucking problem with me today. So I'm going to copy this out quickly. I just want to see what the transaction is doing on the history side. Uh, come on. Uh, I haven't uh, tested any of this since I made any changes to the last time, so I might have broken something. Who knows? And sometimes my uh, uh, my IDE freezes, right? <laughs> And then uh, I have to start again. So I gotta just go Control X or Control C or whatever and stop the debugger, run it. Otherwise, I have to go and stop it within the activity of the the, the processor. Um. Anyway, so I'll do that quickly. Go history. That's not the one I want because it's too long. Yes, yes, yes. I go there and I want my passphrase. Boom, right. Okay, so I've got money out and I've got money in. So I've made one transaction, okay, for some fucking odd reason. Um, I just need to go see why it's doing what it's doing, right? So we've got one transaction and I'm just going to leave it at that. So I don't care how many transactions I make up, it's, 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 it's fine. 
Uh, so I'm going to exit that and I was going to step through the code quickly. Sorry, it must be blurry to see exactly why the fuck this thing is doing what it's doing. Right. So we go again. So we've already got one transaction. We need to create 21 more, right? But uh, I haven't altered the code or anything, so it's probably going to make 23 transactions, which is fine. Uh, spend. Uh, so I'm just going to go in there quickly and make sure that this is still working. So roll over that. So we say that this is true. It's not true, right? Okay, payments, payments exceeds. Okay, so we got a fucking error, right? Okay, let's see what the fucking error is. Obviously, the piece of code that I wrote is uh, flawed. <laughs> um, right, so we go here, yeah, we go there, we go everywhere. So we got a payment of not yet. We want history. It will go get the history for us. And within our history, we have a result. And we've got the first one, we're paying us 50. We've got another one, which is the second one, which is P1. That's good. Which one's this? This is the actual Genesis one. So then this one must be the second one, which seems to me, it looks like a duplicate. Is it going to be? No, right. Okay. Uh, fuck. Okay. I get it. Um, okay. So <laughs> I think I know what's happening here. Um, I've changed the code obviously to, to, to try and, uh, find the, the closest amount that you, that you have. So every commitment is basically a balance. Okay. So. That will be that, that will be that, okay, and he's going to go and give it to us for X. And he's going to go divisions, there's three of them, and that's the first one, that's the second one, and that's the third one, right? Now, this piece of code is going to go like, fuck it, I'm going to take this one, and... Just to prove my point, he says, okay, well, I'm taking the closest one to the one I need to spend because I want to be greedy about my algorithm and I'm not going to take the other ones that are available to me. I should have taken that one, but for this scenario, I'm going with that one and that's the reason why the fucking thing's failing because he's going to give me the closest to that amount and then when I do the change, it obviously goes fucking haywire. It goes, oh, wow, I've spent more than I've paid and my total can't cover the bet or the payments. And then obviously throws a little error over here because fuck off, you don't have money, right? Okay. So uh, I just need to think which one we want to use. Mm. Just put some code in there quickly, and then it will just sort that out. Uh, I just need to think quickly which one do we want. We want balances. No, we don't want balances. We want divisions. We're adding. We're adding the balances. Balances does not exist because we're looking for it in the balances. Multi balance. We don't need you either. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So what I need to do here is stop it quickly. And then what I need to do on the balance, when we go add the balances, I don't want distinct. I just want fucking everything. Sorry, guys. <laughs> should have run through this code before I showed you how to create the Genesis line. So, oops. Okay. So, 
So we just want balances out of that thing. And there we go. So this is what the uh, program has got through. And uh, it's one of those things, right? And it's changing. So we do it again. Again, we go check what's happening over there. Did I do it correctly? Otherwise, I need to cheat um, and then just use whatever. Right? Okay, so my balances are five. Okay, we don't want to stink, we want everything. And let's go and see if that is the case. So, what I'm looking for is this guy over here to get filled because those are my multi balances. And hopefully that's going to be the case. If I look here, there's going to be one. He's going to say 50 because my balance is getting worked out in a greedy algorithm way. Okay, so this piece of code is not going to, going to help me. So I just need to go and do some copy paste <laughs> uh right uh we got a bamboo uh go to here um just want to get some old code where the changes obviously happen before the time I think this was after the fact, right? Yes, we have a winner. Okay, good. Right. Um, change, change, change. Oh, fuck, whatever. Just give me the everything. Uh, what are transactions? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you come with me. Maybe I need you to. And well, we're just going to stop this so that I can carry on. Yeah, quickly. Sorry about this. Uh, use amount. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm just gonna put it in there, copy and paste, and that has to change to transactions that amount, and that's gonna be out anymore. Mm. Crazy, isn't it? Um, outputs. Not the one, but go with it. Sorry, I did make changes to this previously, so I just need to set it back. So we can continue and create transactions. I want to call you something else other than change. One. We change one. Oh, we change one. Right. So, and we've got to duplicate this one. Okay, cool. So, we can take this one away. Right. Uh, let's carry on from where the actual transactions are sitting within the wallet. Um, and then we'll just uh, take it from there because I've obviously changed the code slightly. Um, and this might need to change it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just run the code quickly and see what's going to, what results it's going to give us. Um, okay. sorry, boring stuff. <laughs> so 
Pero que recibe un video. And just make sure that I've got my breakpoints up there. And okay, we find this here. And uh, yeah, exactly. It's angry and not found, right? Uh, we're going to query the wallets. We're going to get our transactions back. And we know we've got two really. That's the amount we have and some spare change. Right. Okay. So. We are going to see that if I change this back to what it was, it's going to add our transaction to us. And let's just see what it added. And it added a 45. Okay, let's see what else it's doing. Okay, and what else did the code do for us? This one over here was a change list. Uh, and this one was a spending. That one was the closest. Okay. So. Um, we did that. Okay, fuck it. You know what? Instead of trying to do this all over again, we just take a shortcut. And here we go with the shortcuts. Instead of trying to fucking figure out what the fuck's going on here, we just kill you and we take you. That's easy, easy, easy peasy. Hopefully we haven't changed any parameters and whatever. Right? Uh, and that's some things might have to change. Okay. Uh, right, so you will come with me. Sorry. Blah, blah, blah. This one was uh, transactions amount. Oh, no. Variable balance. History. Sorry, guys. Fuck. I thought I'd uh, make this easier, but it's not actually easy. I just need to uh, get my fucking shit together quickly. Uh, where is it? So it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Oh. I should have uh, checked this before I made the announcement. I was busy cutting wood earlier, so. I thought all this would uh, still be the same, and clearly not. Um, blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay, you, you, you balance. Um, yeah, for our message, you will not be you anymore. It will be you, not me, you, right? Amounts, and that would be. Our transactions that be out, right? And balance would be this guy now. And that's probably changed to a string, and he's now that over there. So we need to convert him. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. For fuck's sake, okay, let's just do this.
Jordi. Like that. Right. Now that I've bored you, hopefully this fucking works. Okay. Um, right, let's do it there on a piece of code. A little bit of a an interval. <laughs> uh, right. Um, so we got a change. We want to see that uh, we've done our sums. I'm going to just put a breakpoint over there. And our session is going to work at our fee. Our payments, what we've got there is 550. The reward is going to try and work it out. Our history is going to give us um, our balance from everything. And the last one would be obviously the one that we are probably interested, but maybe not. Uh, the closest one, hopefully, is going to give us that. Okay, so we're good, right? So it's going to give us the closest one. Um, and the VR is going to be that one, which we want. Yeah, okay, we're great with that. We want to spend and we want to do this one, and it's going to give us the one we want, hopefully. Yes, it's all good. Change. There we go. Creates our exception. Right. Okay. So could be this guy there. Yeah. Overflow. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, input string. Okay. So he's saying that this is wrong. Right. So we just stop this again. Make sure that what we've done is correct. So far, we know that uh, the code's busy working and it's going to give us what we want. Um, it's got to work out some kinks. <laughs> Just like let change. All right, so you are wrong, right? For some reason. That's 45. Okay, so that isn't what we want. Um, what we want is what is the one I want, which is the balance. The balance is the variable balance, and then that would be the okay. So the closest is this one over here, right? Okay. So what we want is, we want to give you the closest one. So we'll just change this one to be that one, which is the closest. Okay. Right. Fuck. On we go. <laughs> I thought we were going to create Tangram here, man. Out of thin air. Right, and yeah, we're trying to say a struggle with code, yeah, which uh, I suppose I, I should have checked before I told you, you know, but uh, so we learn. Okay, so the closest now would be that, and we're good to go with that. Hopefully, no more errors. We're good here. I just want to check the output. Um, every time I can. Okay, so our balance is this, uh, our change would be that, we're spending this and we're creating a payment and we're paying myself because I'm greedy and I'm going to have this output as spending and that's great, 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 great. So we haven't spent it. Hopefully I don't need to fill this in, but we're going to get there and see. Then I'm going to save and updates, make sure that it's all running correctly. We come with calculated change, right. So we have payments. We have change. Okay, we're good. And uh, just to make sure we're going to come through here uh, successfully. Yes, we, we have. We have winners. We have plenty of winners. Okay. Okay, so the next step would be 
to continue. Obviously, we now creating more transactions than we want in our iteration. Yeah, our four. Uh, we're gonna run it one more time, and we're gonna just see. Hopefully, it's gonna carry on doing its thing. I don't have to go through this bullshit anymore. Um, I, if I just want to see if this goes through, and if that goes through, we good. Right, okay, we fucking on track. Uh, right, so I'm just going to run it through, make sure that we're all good. Okay, we can see the countdown over here. We've got three transactions plus the two previously. Hopefully our, uh, uh, our transactions uh, are good to go and they're gold when we want to put them onto the node. And we're almost there, we're almost there. So we got 10, we got 11, we got 12. Uh, we got, I'm just going to press this until it finishes. Well, what we're doing now is we're just creating transactions from our change, basically. We're now sitting on 17 and 18, we're going 19. We're going 20, right? And that's it. We're done. And obviously, I don't want to spend anything because uh, I want to go and create myself a Genesis block. However, what I want to do is I want to see my history and um, see how many transactions we've kind of created. And we're almost there to do step three, right? Boom, there we go. Look at all those beautiful transactions. So I've paid out 550 on every go. It's worked out my balance for me. I've paid my fee, which is uh, synthetic. It doesn't really happen. Although we we say it's going to happen, we're going to give it back to you. It's going to calculate the, the back payment. And we've got enough transactions there to, to continue, right? Okay. Okay, right, so we're good. So now we have our transactions. Uh, we've done step two. Now we need to do step three. Step three is basically I need to go and write a file that is going to give me all my transactions uh, in a binary format. Right? Uh, the reason being is because after this step, we're going to go to the node and we're going to go and uh, run the node and we're going to go create our Genesis block. Um, but when we do run the node, we're also going to stake. So we're going to do this whole thing and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, so this is step three. And I'm going to make sure that uh, I have all the proper proper stuff in here that's gonna message pack server it's buffer okay this is obviously old shit uh it needs a this is probably wrong x so what is it hard let me just think now uh Uh, was the transaction ID? The balance, the ID, that's not it. I don't have a gene anymore. Yeah, okay, we get rid of this. We don't need this. We don't need that anymore. So we'll just take this out. Okay, what we are interested in is, is, is the transaction. We don't care about the transaction ID. Okay, and we have an error because. I think I put it inside this one. Yes, I did. Idiot. Okay. Very good. Right. Okay. And I need to go and take my uh, Genesis wallet uh, and Need to give myself the ID so that I don't have to type the shit in any time. And we can just copy and paste this so that's it's all good to go. That's all good to go. That's all good to go. It looks great. It looks great. 
we go and add this to the top because when we add the spin command and it can be any command that uh, activates the um, the wallet uh, module which is this uh, wallet service um, so that's going to do this for us i just want to go and check to see if i have um, if I've got anything there that needs to be removed, I would do debug, five, what I have there, uh, safeguard, I'm just going to delete that because we don't need that. These are that, don't need you. Uh, right, so what this piece of code is going to do is going to create my transactions for me and it's going to write it out to my uh, wallet directory and it's going to be in format and I'll show you. Um, make sure that uh, the code actually does what it's supposed to do because obviously it changes previously, and we know why what happens when we don't check our homework. You know, nothing's for free, right? <laughs> so, that's going to do spend again, it's going to run that it's a trans uh, method, and making sure that we have what's we got here. The directories doesn't exist, so we're going to create it. That's and then through this thing, it's going to go in here. And I just want to step in here quickly just to make sure that I have the fucking right thing and not the wrong thing. Right, so balance change. We don't want you, right? What we want is you. Yeah. So that one is wrong. Um, so we want the transaction, not the actual wallet stuff. Okay, cool. So we just change it quickly. And that's the one we want. Okay, right. Okay, here we go again. Anybody wants to ask a question following me so far? I know it's just, just code bullshit. Go ahead, you know, whatever. But we're creating 10 grams out of thin air, we're going to create a Genesis block. Uh, just making sure that uh, I've got the thing that I want. So this is going to be my first transaction. And yeah, you can see this is bulletproof with uh, a whole lot of binary numbers in it. Uh, we've got our ring CT, which has got uh, all our variables here to make uh, verifications. We've got the transaction ID, the the min, the, uh, the version is one, the, the, the V in which will have our key offsets. Uh, this is the, the key image. This is the key to, um, uh, to check for any double spends. The key offsets, the only 66 because um, it's me and, uh, and my public key. So that's my public key and my commitment. Usually that would be something like um, one 